an Adobe InDesign tutorial to show how to deal with bad rag widows in reverse in type. So I have an example here of some copy that provides a pretty good example of copy that just isn't flowing right. And this would be an example of a river where the reader would be kind of distracted by the spacing, the flow and spacing that goes in between the paragraphs. And the other problems with this copy are the just the short widows at the end of a paragraph and the rag that isn't isn't aligning very well. If certain lines in paragraph copy are extending far beyond the other lines of copy, that's also distracting. And it's just bad form in general. Um, the first thing, the first strategy an in-house department might do would be to just send it back to the copywriter to reword aspects of the copy, which is really helpful because they can see how the copy is flowing and they can say, okay, if I reword this or move this around or add some uh, soft character spacing, then that would fix the problem. But if that's not an option, then there are things you can do in InDesign that would help even out and, and fix it especially if this copy is final. Um, so I'll deal with the widows first. And this is for copy that doesn't have to be justified. I mean, there are things you can do that would fix it when it's justified as well, full justified. If it's full justified, you can also tweak these areas here. But I wanted to give an example of, of the bad rag as well. So let's deal with this widow. Um, what you can do, there are three things you can do. And you just go here to the type, type character. So the first thing you can do is, is adjust it slightly, adjust the size of the type slightly. So let's say like 13.75 or, and it, it depends on the, the type. This is times, this type is times. So sometimes you can get away with making it just slightly smaller. So assuming you can in this case, I don't, I don't think that would work in this particular font. So we're gonna go back to 14. So the first thing you can do is adjust the spacing. So I have it set at a minus eight. So I just go down to see what it would take to get that, remove that widow. And then, so I'm at minus 20 now. Then I'm, I'm gonna go back out. That's probably a little bit tight. So if I go less, 19, 18, Seventeen, sixteen. So it needs to be at seventeen, and then I'm gonna just pull this line back out. Sixteen, fifteen. So that has to be at sixteen, and then I'm gonna pull this last line back out. 16, 15, and I just go until I hit the threshold, 13, 12, 11, 10, oh, 10, 9, <laughs> but you can see how this is evening the, evening the lines. Eight. That was my base was eight, so I just pull it back out to eight. Then, so that's that's dealing with bad rag actually and widow. And this is called a widow when just a tiny word or one word hangs down below ends the paragraph, just one word. So now dealing with this, dealing with this is, 
I would use the same method. You can also adjust just a space in between one letter, which you might use that in a header. So next I'm going to deal with this, this, this actually is bad rag and, and kind of a river. So I'm, I'm going to go down a little bit and see if I can just even it. That might fix it. Then I'm going to go to these three lines and do less. And then just go back, go back up to each consecutive line and try to do a little bit less. Just getting back to my base if I can. Can doesn't work with those three. I'll get back to my base of minus eight, and then I'll just go down a little bit. Minus five, minus four. But you can see this doesn't really affect the readability of the copy. It's just minor adjustments that improve the flow. So, and I'll deal with this widow too, as an example, just go down. You can even just go down. You don't have to select the whole paragraph. You can just use that last line. I don't know, that doesn't work. Sometimes that works. Minus 10. Minus 9. Let's see what minus 9 does. No. Minus 9. Let's see if I can get back to my base. Minus 8. Yeah, I can. I can get back to my base here on this line and here on this line. So that's just a few examples of how you can make slight adjustments to fix the rag, to fix any rivers, and to make things more legible. I hope this is helpful. Please give me a like if you learned something. Thank you for watching.